Welcome back to the channel and we are just a few days away from the flat season starting. For those who do follow the flat like me, it has been a long time coming and Doncaster kicks off the flat season in usual fashion and there's a pretty good card on actually. The Lincoln Handicaps looks to be a very competitive one this year, the ground like it always is in fairness and I'll be previewing that in a video later on today. There might even be a tip or two once I have a proper look through the races but it's a very enjoyable time for me on the fly getting these two year olds out you see some exciting horses ones that are open to a lot of improvement well and the old boys and girls coming back in the handicap so it's a very enjoyable time for me and I thought I'd give out two jockeys that I think are going to have a pretty good season there's always a few that have a very big breakthrough season and I've picked out two which I think do have big chances and might be names we'll be hearing a lot more of hopefully maybe even this Saturday, which I'll get on to in a minute. But the first jockey is Benoit de la Sayette, who is back from his ban. You'll probably have heard of the name, he had a drugs ban. And he's back this weekend, I think he's booked for some rides at Wol Wolverhampton on Saturday. And this jockey is still quite inexperienced, he's only 18 and he burst onto the scene last year. He had some very nice polished rides on your weather. I remember one at Kempton, I forget the name of the horse, but he looked very polished from the back, coming through stylish. He almost reminded me of a young Frankie de Torre. He's got a very good style about him, and I think he's got a good clock in his head, and I really think he has the world at his feet. If he can keep clean, I think he's going to be a name we're going to be hearing a lot about in the future. He somewhat reminds me of Kieran Fallen, how in The Apprentice races just a few years ago, he used to be a you could pick him out in the race just because he was that well of a polished ahead of his time essentially he was still taking off weight when he was literally a professional jockey you couldn't tell a difference and I think this lad will be the same he's got a very good style as I said and he still takes off a nice claim so I think he's going to be used by some of the big trainers maybe in some big field handicaps and I think he'll be one that we'll be seeing a lot of in the winning enclosure. He's got a partnership, obviously, with John Gosden. Won the Lincoln Handicap last year, actually. He was the first claimer to win it in a long time. So I think he's one which is definitely worth keeping an eye on. I think he'll get put on some nice horses, and I think he'll deliver. Now, the second and final one is Lewis Edmonds, who... After he's lost his claim a few years ago, he's somewhat struggled, but he had a very good season and elite year last year. He had 36 winners, which was his best in a couple of years. And this jockey, is he just doesn't get enough rides, as he should do, simple as. He's a very good jockey, very strong in the saddle. You won't find many stronger than Lewis Edmonds in the saddle, but he just might miss a big yard to give him them big, big Saturday winners, which all jockeys seem to name to explode onto the big stage even more. But I think this year he's got a partnership with Lazare, who's trains his horses about 10 minutes from me. He's got some decent enough horses this year in the form of Fame and Acclaim, who goes in the Lincoln this Saturday. That'll be a perfect start of the season for both connections. You've also got Bedford Flyer, who I think will transition into a listed, maybe a group three winning sprinter by the end of the season. And you've also got Just Frank, who might have a big handicap in him as well. So I think he's got a few horses which might just explode him and take him up to the next level. As I said, he's very good in the saddle and he's just missing that one horse which will take him to the next stage. So I think he's definitely one to follow. He's had a decent enough start to the year already, operating at around a 12% strike work strike rate, which is slightly better than last year, but this jockey, mark my words, I've watched him a lot just because he often rides the yard, the horses from the yard close to me, and there's nothing lacking from the saddle in the form of Lewis Edmonds, so him and Benoit de la Sayat are two jockeys that I will be following for the flat season. Let me know who your jockey to follow will be in the comments down below, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.